Good afternoon. Please come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Oh, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Kajal is from Sapna in Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. Her uh, option was sociology, and she has done her uh, so BA. Must be BA only, na? Right? Yes, sir. From uh, a college in Sapna, Shahid Padam Dhar Singh Government Autonomous College, Political Science, History, Economics. What is foundation course? Sir, it was a course of three subjects, in which two subjects were Hindi and English, and one subject would change every year. Okay, who is Shahid Padam Dhar Singh? Yes, sir. So Shahid Padam Dhar Singh was a freedom fi fighter from Satna who participated in Quit India movement, and he got martyred for the country. Okay, Madhya Pradesh. <clears throat> Was in the list of Bimaru states. Yes, sir. What do you understand from Bimaru states? So Bimaru states was an acronym used for the states which were backward in criteria of uh, development and uh, employment and poverty. Okay. What has happened now? Has it changed? Yes, sir. So things have improved a lot, and still um, many things uh, still need to be improved. What has improved? What is the per capita income now? What is the rank among various states? Oh, sorry, sir, I do not remember the data. Okay, Madhya Pradesh has tribals. Yes. Sir. What is the population of tribals? So, tribal population constitutes around twenty percent of the population of the state. What are the tri main tribals? So, the largest uh, tribe is Gon tribe. Then Bhil tribe and some PVTGs also, like uh, Saharia tribe. Saharias. Yes. PVTG. Yes. Particularly vulnerable tribal groups. Yes. Sir. Has the government recently, last year, announced any program for them? Yes, sir. In budget financial year twenty four, the government announced PVTG development mission. What about the Janman PM Janman Yojana? Yes, sir. What is that Yojana? So, Janjatiya, um, so I do not remember the full form. No, but it is for PVTGs yes, sir. only. Yes, sir. What does the Yojana, what are the various components of the Yojana? Sorry, sir. Okay. You must have been reading about multi dimensional poverty. Yes, sir. For the past few months. Yes, sir. The Niti Ayog has come out with figures. Yes, sir. Saying that about 25 crore people have escaped multidimensional poverty. Now, how have they measured this? So, how does it compare with the earlier method of measuring? So, the earlier method of measuring only accounted for income, while the multidimensional poverty index accounts for income as well as other criteria that that uh, demonstrate does it account the account for in income also. Yes, sir. And other criteria like standard of living, uh, to a total of ten indicators. Ten. Yes. Sir. Or twelve. Sorry, sir. Ten was with UNDP. Two have been added by us. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, which is a better method of measuring poverty? Don't you think income and consumption method was better? No, sir. Sir, I think the multi-dimensional poverty. Uh, A method uses an, a a number of criteria that is better because poverty means deprivation not just of income of very uh, of various necessities of life as well. Okay. Suppose uh, <coughs> when we are uh, looking at our uh, human development index, yes, at one thirtieth rank, yes, sir. And the, on the other hand, we are being told that so many twenty-five crore people have crossed the poverty yes, line, or they don't match. What do you have to say about it? Sir, 
So the Human Development Index accounts for various criteria like uh, per capita income, education levels, and uh, What is the per capita income of India? Sorry, sir, I, I have read, but I forgot. What is the rank of India in per capita income terms? Sorry, sir. Okay, thank you. Kajal. Yes, ma'am. So you are from Madhya Pradesh. Yes, ma'am. What is the GDP of your state? Sorry, ma'am, I do not remember. A sex ratio? Um, sex ratio is 931. National average, how much is 943. Okay. So, what do you observe by this? Um, it is less than the national average. What else? Um, uh, more needs to be done in this aspect. Okay. So, if you have to invest your time and energy and you become the officer, you, know, you become the district collector in your own state. Yes, ma'am. Where will you invest your time and energy? Ma'am, women empowerment. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What else? Only that? No, ma'am. Uh, women empowerment would be first priority. Other than in spreading awareness about various schemes of the government and implementation of those schemes. Okay. Uh, mm. As a sociology student, you must have made some observation about the society yes, you have come from. So, what are your observations? Ma'am, the condition of uh, women is, there needs to be done a lot more for to improve the condition of women in my area. And uh, why I can only remember this. Only women are troubled in society? No, ma'am. Anything, anything related to society, social issues you can uh, identify? And poverty. Okay. And labor welfare. Labor welfare. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you were part of the eco club. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is its uh, what's its use like? So if if students go and plant some trees. Yes, ma'am. Does it create any large scale impact? Ma'am, it does not create large scale impact in itself, but it's, it is a very good initiative because individual initiatives uh, over time uh, create larger impact on society. Okay. What is green budgeting? Ma'am, uh, green budgeting when we account for the env uh, environmental impacts of any decision, it is known as green budgeting. Okay. So in your uh, DAF, it is written you do pranayam. Yes, ma'am. It is the part of yoga practice in yes, itself and there are eight steps. Yes ma'am. Can you tell me the eight steps? I can uh, name few. Um, oh, some yam, which are some do's that we should do and some niyam that, uh, that we, things we should not practice and uh, pranayam is one of them. Um, I can only recall this much. Okay. So, you have written that you are a debater. Yes, ma'am. So, debate for and against that you should be selected, both sides. 30 30 seconds. Ma'am, for what topic? You should be selected for. Sorry, ma'am, I did not get the question. So, the topic for your debate is you should be selected. So, you should debate for. For, for means you should support the argument. Okay, and then, after 30 seconds, you <coughs> should turn. And debate for against that we should not select you. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I think uh, I I am very compassionate. So, in for first thing that, and uh, I am willing to learn, and I am a good listener. These things for for. And against. Sorry, ma'am. Anything? There, there, there must be some reasons. There yes, must be uh, some reasons where you lack or something like that. Um, 
mom i cannot make out <laughs> okay 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 so uh, you tell me like as a candidate yes mom what are the challenges you faced during your preparation mom uh, i started preparing one and a half years back so and i prepared optional and js at the same time so i th- it was difficult to manage time and also living in uh, in delhi is also a costly affair because it uh, takes and also the quality of life it is uh, it deteriorate deteriorate some some way because we the quality of food and the quality of air that is present here okay so my last question to you what are your who are your inspirations in life some women inspirations my my mother your mother why yes, mom mom because i see her as a very strong personality she can uh, manage a lot of activities at the same time okay thank you thank you kajal yes sir tell me major health issues uh, with tribals in madhya pradesh so the major health issues in tribals are uh, anemia and uh, sir i can only remember this any water related disease you are not aware yes no worries no please uh, if i take two names putan yes sir and biden yes sir uh, what's your opinion whom you would like to favor out of the two and why so i would not like to favor either of them either of them yes sir but you have to you have to make a choice so i'm not very aware of their uh, about them but uladimir uh, putin you are not aware of yes sir i am aware but not about uh, very specific knowledge their role in international politics of yes, course sir. that is we are talking not of their personal lives yes so they so both have different uh, ideologies ifs is your third choice yes sir hmm how their approach towards international politics is actually changing the global scenario sorry sir how their approach towards international politics is changing the global scenario so for example uh, the russia ukraine war has affected uh, affected a lot in terms of supply chain uh, availability of uh, fuel food mm. and fertilizer mm. to the world yes okay you know that donald trump made a statement you read newspapers yes sir okay that uh, members of nato mm. should be paying for it or otherwise i will invite putin to attack them yes sir so any opinion you are able to form on it sir he made this are point. you aware of nato yes what sir. it is yes, you are aware sir. okay fine so he made the statement in uh, in the sense that the major part of N- contribution to nato mm-hmm. is made by america while the main security concerns are related to the european countries mm-hmm. so he made this statement in this light so is it uh, okay for him to make such a statement no, because sir. initially it is was us yes, only sir. who persuaded all these nations yes sir it is not okay mm-hmm. to make such a statement okay yes, fine sir. uh you are student of sociology yes sir max weber yes you have gone through yes sir what are the forms of authority so we talked about max weber talked about three types of authority traditional rational authority legal rational authority and charismatic authority which one he talked about legal rational okay yes, which he favored yes, what sir. are the problems with charismatic authority so charismatic authority uh, is that authority which people follow due to some personality traits of that that personality the personality traits may be attractive but may not be beneficial in the long term so this can be a charisma is trait personality trait yes sir charisma is only of personality trait sorry sir okay 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 fine Uh, any women ips officer from madhya pradesh who has motivated because that's your second choice ips no sir no one no sir so then why you failed uh, ips as your second choice sir so, so i mean not specifically any women from madhya pradesh okay someone yes, from yes sir which home sir 
Ankita Sharma in Chhattisgarh. Okay. Yes, sir. What work she has done that uh, has influenced you? So she has worked a lot in the Naxalite affected areas. Yes, sir. So you like your posting in such areas because your role model is looking like that. That's why you are you like to work in Naxal affected areas. Yes, sir. Okay. What should be our approach politically towards Naxal affected areas? One line and uh, administratively. So the uh, the approach should be to uh, make them aware of the actual situation that it has changed and that they should uh, either surrender or law and order approach would be used against them. Tell me a district uh, in your Madhya Pradesh that is Naxal affected still. Sir, Balaghat. Balaghat area. What about Shahdol and all? That's free. Yes, sir. No, sir. The Naxalite affected. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine, sir. Okay. Hi, Kajal. Yes, good afternoon, sir. You study science in twelfth, no? Yes, sir. And then art in your graduation. Yes, sir. In your subjects, there was no sociology in graduation. Yes, sir. Then you take sociology. Yes, sir. Can you define this pattern? Who guides you? What guides you? Sir, after I completed my twelfth, I felt inclined more towards the humanities subjects. So I changed my stream for from science to humanities. And after that, when I started preparing for UPSC, so I I found myself more in, I explored a few optionals. And I uh, found myself more interested in social issues. That's why I opted for sociology optional. So only your gut feeling guides you. Not so. Not just that. Uh, over a time, uh, I explored that for a few uh, for for, uh, for some time, and then if I feel that taking that subject, I pursue it. So you written pranayama is your leisure time activity. Yes, sir. Can you define something about Sudarshan Kriya? Yes, sir. So Sudarshan Kriya is uh, a kind of activity, uh, pranayama activity that uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar advocates. It the main act, uh, the main purpose of this activity is to relieve stress. Okay. So, uh, did you hear about Sustainable Development Goals? Yes, sir. What are they? So these are a set of goals. That uh, that were adopted after the Millennium Development Goals that are to be uh, fulfilled by 2030. Our new education policy is based on which goal? So goal number four. What is that? Quality education. Anything else? Anything Sorry, more sir. about this goal? Sorry, sir. It's okay. Thank you so much. Kajal, uh, yes. you are from Satna. Yes. Satna is very famous from railway point of view because it's a junction. Yes, sir. Can you tell me difference between junction, station, and terminal? So, uh, so a junction is a is a kind of station from where two or more uh, routes divert or converge. Yes, sir. Other? So I do not know about terminal. Uh, I want to know why there is a uh, Jay Stham choke in your address. Something yes, ab sir. about Jay Stham. What is Jay Stham? So, when India got independent, uh, a flame was lighted uh, in that place, and then a uh, then this uh, Jay Stham Stham was constructed at that same place. Uh, sir, in Satna. Yes, sir. Okay. There are two more very famous Stams which we know: uh, Vijay Stham and Kirti Stham in Chittor. Yes. Do you know anything about them? Uh, yes, sir. So Vijay Stam was uh, uh, constructed by Rana Kumbha after his victory over Mahmud Khilji. Correct. Yes, sir. So Kirti Stam, I cannot recall. Okay. Uh, some distinct social problems of your district, if you can highlight. So, see, uh, the women issue, poverty and labor welfare. Sir. What kind of women issues? So, the... So there is a higher uh, dropout rate after secondary level. So that is the most prominent women issue. Okay. Uh, 
your college name uh, the university name was avdesh pratap singh university yes sir uh, from reva yes, so sir. do you know who was avdesh pratap singh ji yes sir so avdesh pratap singh was a freedom fighter from uh, reva who pa- who participated in the freedom movement and after and even after that he got he he was the prime minister of vindhya pradesh as well okay correct mm-hmm. uh reva was very significant from point of view of ecology and environment in some aspect yes. do you know what are those aspects so the white tiger safari uh do you know where the first time white tigers were spotted in wild so the bandhagarh national park are you sure not in reva so no sir okay so nandan kanan zoo which is very famous for white tigers it has any relation with relationship with reva or some other place of mp Sorry, sir. I didn't. Okay, no, sure, sure. Uh, can you? Do you know there is any difference between Roman slaves and American slaves? Sir, I did not know that. Okay. Uh, one of your inspiration, the IPS officer you mentioned, she is currently, according to you, uh, serving in Chhattisgarh. Yes. Sir. But you have given it last option you in your IPS zone three. Yes. First option you have given to Madhya Pradesh and there are two some other states and the last option you have given to Chhattisgarh. Yes. But when the one of the honourable panel member panel member asked, you said you are very much inclined to work in the Naxal affected areas. But you have given it last option for IPS. Any specific reason? So no specific reason. Uh, if given uh, if given chance, I would like to work in the Naxal affected areas. But I also admire the personality of uh, that. Okay. You are also doing MA. Yes. Sir. So, any specific uh, reasons that you chose to do your MA while you are preparing for civil services, or you are seeing it as one of the career option later on if it, you will not succeed or if something happens? So, when I started preparing for civil services, I decided to take sociology optional. so okay. at the same time i pursued ma sociology so that i would know more about that subject okay thank you thank you sir welcome in sir come in so thank you sir ye pehla mark tha aapka no ma'am third third yes ma'am uske baad bhi itne ghabraye hue the Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I do not know why I feel nervous before every mock, and in between the mock. Yes. And ma'am. after mock, you are comfortable. Ma'am, I take the feedback and try to work on it. Okay. Abhi aap comfortable hain. Yes. Okay. So, look, uh, we have to understand. Yes, ma'am. That one of the very important thing that is watched or evaluated in a woman candidate is the boldness. Yes, ma'am. You know. Imagine you are an officer, yes, and something happens outside your office. Some riot happens. Something happens. So, as an officer, do you want the officer to be nervous? No, ma'am. You want that person to be bold, bold, and taking yes, the ma'am. charge. Yes, ma'am. So, when we are looking at the officer or any any panel or any uh, you know commission is looking at the officer, the candidate, they are looking for that officer who can take the charge and the courage. Yes, ma'am. You know, so we will have to show it. Yes, ma'am. So currently, the nervousness or what you say, the the anxiety is taking over your personality. Yes. You know, you are not able to speak properly. Yes. Ma'am. So you are cut shorting all the answers. You are just speaking to the point, and that to the point which is like, isse kam bola nahi ja sakta. You are not. You are not engaging. You are not enjoying the process of interview. You feel like कब खत्म हो और मैं भाग जाऊं है ना ऐसा हुआ भी अंत में yes, the moment it ended, you were like, चलो <laughs> अब कहा भागना है कहा जाना है जब तक चेयरमैन सर ना बोले या मैं तब तक है ना सो यू शुड नॉट बी सो नर्वस ओके मैम है ना यू विज इन इंटरव्यू दिस इज नॉट अ चॉइस Yes, ma'am. Because they are looking. This is this. Yeah, our first attempt. Me, itne achhe position pe pahunch gaye hain. Yes, ma'am. This is the an exercise. The board itself. will be very happy. Ha! 
they want to select you you so young thank you only if you give them the chance yes ma'am आप बस उन्हें चांस दे दो कि वो तो सिलेक्ट करने के लिए बैठे हैं आपको इतने यंग कैंडिडेट हो आप बहुत ज्यादा प्रोमिसिंग कैंडिडेट हो आपका डेफ देख के पैनल वाज ऑफ द ओपिनियन कि बहुत अच्छी कैंडिडेट आई है ओके तो है ना तो आप अगर कोई बहुत ज्यादा गलती नहीं करोगे तो दे ऑल वांट टू सेलेक्ट यू यस तो आप है ना कॉन्फिडेंट रहिए कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत जरूरी है बोल्डनेस यस मैम तेज बोल के दिखाओ यस मैम द वॉइस शुड बी कॉन्फिडेंट यस मैम so if i speak to you in a lang in a in a in a tone theek hai acha hai badhiya hai mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes ma'am is it looking confident no ma'am my voice should reach to you in a comfortable position yes ma'am jab main bol rahi hu to wo mehsoos hona chahiye body language bhi aise nahi khul ke baitho aaram se comfortable teacher yes, ne lean karna aage baitho attentive body language se confidence dikhao yes ma'am That should be there. कि अगर इसने सेकेंड पोजिशन पर आई पी एस भरा है तो लड़की को अगर लाठी लेके जाना पड़ेगा भीड़ में तो जा सकती है जा सकती है yes, तो, लाठी चार्ज कर सकती है हाँ तो दिखना चाहिए okay. आपके शरीर से आपके आंखों से बातों से दिखना चाहिए कि लाठी लेके घुस जाएगी अंदर एकदम ओके okay, और मारेगी दस लोगों को लेकिन अभी क्या लग रहा है ये लड़की तो बोल भी नहीं पाएगी तो लाठी लेके कैसे घुसेगी अंकिता शर्मा ने किया था ना लाठी चार्ज यस yes, मैम जूनियर है हम लोगों की बहुत बढ़िया लाठी चार्ज किया सर उसने यस यू अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट बोलने शुड बी देयर यस मैम ठीक है थैंक यू मैम बेस्ट विशेष